There's nothing worse than after you shave when you look down and the sink is just covered with hair. That's why I'm looking forward to trying out this vacuum trimmer. Check out how much hair got sucked up in the vacuum trim. Look at all that. That is a lot of hair that did not wind up on my sink. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw in this video, we are looking at the vacuum trim, a rechargeable trimmer with a built-in vacuum. How cool is that? And if you watched any of my recent videos and you've wondered why my beard has gotten overgrown and unruly, well, now you do. Enough talk. Let's get right into this review. Here we are unboxed, and you know what? We actually have a lot of good things. We have the razor that is attached to a short guard, but we also have the option to switch it to a larger guard. We have a power block that you can hook to the USB cord, and there's also a little brush to clean it. Don't forget the oil for the razor itself. One thing that was frustrating is this came with a proprietary charger. Although it does have a USB connection and a power brick, this is a proprietary charger, so you cannot charge this razor without this cord. And that's a little frustrating because USB and USB-C are so prevalent. To me, it would make sense to have one of those type of chargers with this one, but just so you know, don't lose this cord. Now we're gonna talk about the use of this razor and you can see there's two sets of numbers. There's a number on the top that's smaller and a number on the bottom that is larger. We're gonna talk about what that means in just a minute. So what we do is if we turn these, the um, razor guard actually will raise. And I'm gonna get a side profile of that for you, but you can see how it moves just like that. Here it is from the side. You can see there is a lot of adjustability between your razor and the guard. That is pretty convenient. The two different sets of numbers actually reflects the two different guards. Attached right now, I have the small guard, so I'm gonna use the smaller numbers. You can see that I'm on 10, then I can go back to nine and a half, nine, all the way down. So because this is the small guard, I'm using the top numbers. If we pop this off, we just actually pull up. It takes a little effort. There it goes. And now there's no guard. And of course we can put on the larger guard. Before doing anything, make sure you get a click that it goes in. There it goes. All right. So now since I'm on the larger guard, I'm actually going to be using the lower sets of numbers. So as I twist this, now I'd be at 17 and 18. So that's all the different heights that you can go to or depths you can go to with your guard. I should note that the guard size is in millimeters. So you can go as low as one millimeter with a guard on all the way up to 20 millimeters. Of course, if you take the guard off, well, that's nothing. Before we start to charge this, I want to show you the actual compartment where the hair gets vacuumed into. And you can see I took the guard off. And so there's a hole there and a powerful vacuum that's supposed to suck the hair right down. I'm going to take off this compartment door and show you where it's stored. To take off the compartment door, of course, you see that I have the guard off and I'm really just going to slide this forward. And right in here is where your hair is going to be stored. And then you can just clean it out from this spot. I wanted to test to see if there's any charge from the factory with this open. You're not supposed to use the razor like this. I just want to see what happens. First thing we hear is there's a lot of noise coming from this. Of course, here's some vents coming through, I guess, for the vacuum part here. It does feel like a pretty powerful vacuum, so I'll be interested to see how that works. Now we're going to charge it. Of course, you see I've labeled my plug. I do have a lot of plugs, so it's important to keep them all separate. All right, so let's plug this in to charge. We are told that while charging, this will blink blue just like it is right now. When it's done charging, it's going to be a solid green. Directions tell us that typically takes two and a half hours. Let's come back when it's all charged up. The light still looks blue to me, but it is solid. So we're going to pretend like that's the green light. Let's start using this razor. They do include oil. You have to chop off the top before you start using it, but they recommend putting about a few drops there. Well, the first time you use it and after you clean it. So every couple of shaves. The directions tell us that we are supposed to make complete contact with the guard and our face or wherever we're shaving. And we're supposed to be going against the growth. So for me, that's going to be going up. You can shave down as long as the growth goes in that direction. I have my dial turned to nine. Hopefully that's a good starting point. Let's begin. All right, I don't hear it shaving, but it looks like there's some hair going in there. Now I hear it shaving. As I'm shaving my beard, I would love to get your opinion of the vacuum trim. Is this something that you would like or not so much? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you.
Let's see what it looks like inside. After a few passes with the razor, I do notice some hair has fallen down to the sink. I wonder if that's because the reservoir to hold the hair as it's vacuuming isn't very big. Let's open this up and see. Now for the moment of truth, let's open this up. You know what? It's not full like I thought it would be. I see some hair clumped up up here and some right around the filter, but I thought this whole thing would have been full. Don't get me wrong, even though it didn't have as much in there as I would have hoped, I am grateful this is not all over my sink. What I have right now is not that difficult to clean up. Let me dump this out and keep shaving. I've cleaned out the sink in preparation to test out the vacuum trim one more time. To test this a second time, I've actually reduced the size by one half. So from nine to eight and a half, I'm thinking this time, maybe if it's not as much hair, just a little trim, maybe the vacuum will keep up, but I won't have anything all over the sink. Let's try it out. Of course, just sitting here as I'm shaving, I can actually see pieces of hair flip up and over and land in the sink. So it's not catching everything. You know what, I will say, as I've been shaving with this, I've actually been pretty impressed with the quality of shave. I was really worried it was gonna be ripping my hair out now. It is brand new, but still, it does feel like a comfortable shave. Well, sad to say, it did not catch all of the hair. There's still some here, but compared to what I normally have after I shave, this is awesome. And of course, since it was just stubble, it really did catch most of it. In this video, we are taking a look at the vacuum trim, a rechargeable razor with a built-in vacuum. So what did we think of it? First things first, let's talk about price. I bought the basic version, which retailed for right around $40, but you can get a deluxe version that has a digital LED screen to tell you how much battery life you have left, and that retails for right around $60. I thought the actual shave was pretty decent. I know I referenced before, this is a brand new unit and things often work really well outside of the box, but I've used some razors that just rip out your hair and it's a painful mess. This one did a great job. I really appreciate that it came with razor oil, so you can oil that razor blade right up before your first use and you get a comfortable shave. Also, that razor is removable, so you can either clean it or replace it. Pretty cool. I like the vacuum part, but it did not catch 100% of the hair. I still did have to clean up a little bit afterwards. So that makes me think this is not something I'm going to be sitting at my office desk shaving because I'm going to still get hair all over the place. I also didn't like that they had a proprietary charger, especially with the prevalence of USB chargers out there. That is something that could have been a quick fix. You know what's funny? As I was using this, I actually thought, man, this is like the Floby for your beard. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. For those of you that may want to clean behind your blade or replace it, all you do is you pull down and it pops right out. And there are two raised parts here at the bottom that fit into grooves. So you just stick it there and pop it right back into place. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the vacuum trim. You know what, as I was using this, it actually reminded me of another product that I reviewed, the MicroTouch Titanium Trim, a DIY hair cutting system. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna link that review right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.